so let us move forward with the width column data frame so let me write it here only so i am using with just now we have seen with column rename now let us see with column function okay with column data frame function so let me mark down this so this is all about with column okay now to start with let me show you how it works actually so for that you i am using an help so if you are using a help we write a data frame dot with column so just try to understand when you are using a data frame function we need to use this df or whatever data frame you have in this notebook you are using that dot the data frame function if you are not taking this and if you are executing this you will get an error saying that it is not defined you can see this so this with column is a part of data frame functions so you need to give a data frame dot with column so you can got you get a help here you can see it is a part of data frame function with column also takes two parameters like how we have seen for with column renamed but for with column renamed it was existing and the new column names but here when you are talking about with column it works in two different ways let me explain you one is column name that is in string second is a column that is of a column type you can see class column so let me scroll down you can see here if we want to add the integer 2 2 is age so is specifying the column number or column name and on this column they want to add plus 2 so is age was 2 now it is age has become 4 so this is how with column works so let me show you in our scenario how it works so for that let me first display your data frame display a data frame so this is a data frame of online retail yeah so you can see here just now uh, like in the previous we have imported in the with column rename the data frame so this is your data frame okay now let me apply the data frame function here uh, data frame with column with column so let me use a control space to get the intelligence so i'm using with column so with column works with two scenarios so two contexts you can say one is if i provide the column name which is already in a data frame for example if i provide the column name called invoice date something like that invoice date and put a comma and if i pass on any expression in this if i pass the year function so that i can get the year from that invoice date or if i get only time because we have a timestamp here if you want a month if you want to year, year you can get that easily so whatever changes it occurs you will get that inside that same column okay so before doing it let me uh, just take one second and put a option called infer schema because uh, for a csv file we get all the strings here so let me just scroll back here and give an option here so to get my correct data types and let me infer infer the schema here okay no worries because that is in a double quotes you can put it in the same way yeah so yeah it has executed now let me come and show you the display and print schema now you can see you get a different data types here because we have in for the schema you can see here so it is showing you string it is showing you integer it is showing you so on yeah so i was thinking like that invoice date will show you a date but it is showing us the string no worries so let me uh, take some other column name to for, to explain you detail about this with column okay suppose if i add one dollar for this unit price so what it will be so if i copy this and if i paste it here now just try to understand how this with column works so if i am passing on the column name which is already present in this data frame and what i will say so it is like unit price column 
unit price column should be added with one okay one so let me execute this so actually we should take a column type column type so this column type object will add with one year so now let me use dot show and execute this first yeah now see what is happening here so here we actually got the price which is starting with okay let me sort this with 2.55 and now you can see here it is showing you 3.55 and it is showing you 4.39 here we have 3.39 but it is showing you 4.49 because it had added with 1 but what was my requirement hey my requirement was i if i add 1 dollar i should get a new column so in uh, with with column you can do it in two ways just you need to say you need to give a different column name which is not there inside your data frame so i can say that unit price this is plus one okay if i say unit price plus one and if i execute this now you will be getting one more column you can see this one more column and the transformation has done on that uh, or a derived column not on the existing column so what i mean to say with column data frame function works in two contexts first is it will do the changes in the existing column like this or you will get a new column it all depends on what name you are giving you what name you are giving for the column this is how the with column data frame function works thank you for watching guys i hope you have enjoyed this please subscribe to my channel keep learning